Hello everyone and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week we're checking out some super sweet new Bloomboro legends. Let's see what everyone's running. Hey it's Phil and I'm playing Zinnia Valley's Voice. It's a stock that brings offspring tokens. Yeah, we get it, what's he? I guess uh, it is kind of funny, I have to admit. Hey everyone, it's Richard and we're playing Vren the Relentless. We're putting on our Krim hat today. We're playing Demir Control. We're gonna wipe the board and make a ton of rats with our commander. Hey, it's Homer, and today we're gonna be discarding our entire hand and hopefully drawing some cards with Flubs the Fool, aka Song of Creation Deck. I'm Seth, and today I'm trying to turn all the creatures on the battlefield into food with a very hungry tiger, Yagra Eater of All. This show is brought to you by our sponsors. You can purchase all the accessories we use on the show over at ultimateguard.com and you can purchase all your guards over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. You can also support us by buying merch at our merch store at mtggoldfishmerch.com and liking and subscribing to help the channel grow. All right, with the intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. Four, three, two, one. Clash on. Clash on. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's been a while. That's fucked up. <sighs> Heck yeah. Oh, so I'm old to six, by the way. I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna play a spectator seating. Yeah. And I'm gonna start annoying the editor right. with this one. Souls attendant. No. Uh, <laughs> Whenever another no, creature no. enters the battlefield under your control, you close. may gain one life. <laughs> Soul sisters. Oh, go. <laughs> Alright, uh, draw. I will play a Hedge Mage. Enters the battlefield tapped. I get to surveil one when it enters the battlefield. Bust it. Uh, do I keep it? Yes, keep it. That's it. Alright, I will draw for my turn. I'm going to play a Forest, and I'm just going to play Lanowar Elves, and you oh, can no, go. Man. That's a mana dork. Yager is a mana dork week. deck, because it wants all the creatures yeah. to be food. Yeah. Sunken Palace tapped. Go ahead. Okay. Is that the blue okay. one that copies a spell that you so killed us with? That's the one that I made fun of. Food on. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, yep, that's yep. really good. Yeah. <laughs> we all made fun of it, and then Richard made it work. Yes. <laughs> Let's keep in mind how it does here. I didn't make it. It just worked by itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to swing in at Toma as a welcoming oh, present. Yeah, right, I'll take it. How foolish should <laughs> Then I'm going to... Be beside you. <laughs> He's playing red. He probably has Kiki combo. <laughs> I'm going to pick up the seat. <laughs> oh, never. And play a bounce land and go. Okay. Uh, draw. Do we do hashtag deck thinning? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll play a forest and then cast the Sakura Tribe Elder, Steve. Sack it, Ooh. rampant growth, and pass. I'm going to get it. Uh, all right. I want to tap and draw. Uh, I'm not ramping this turn, right? Uh, all right. Phil's gaining life. It literally ramped last turn. Take take one, Phil, from the, the land of war. All right. Yeah. Um, Look, you're not using that mana? I'm going to play Minas, <laughs> Minas Morgul <laughs> Dark Fortress. It's a, it's a land that makes black, and you can pay four mana and tap it to put a shadow counter on one of your things um and then i'm gonna play a uh, like goose times. hong kong mm -hmm. uh and that? make a food Two, token two. feels like a standard you can player. go but you aristocrats you're gonna sass from your matador so <laughs> so the the shadow counter is actually cool because it gives a creature shadow so it's a, essentially mm. a way that you can make a creature unblockable, unblockable like perhaps a huge tiger commander for example wait there's bubble the oldest commons bounce wow. land. Like it would bounce back to my sunken palace. It always hurts to bounce a tap land. Go ahead. All right. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna replay the spectator seating. Nobody's got a flyer. Seth's got a flyer. Let me read Aha, it. So Hong Kong. I got a block. <laughs> Hong Kong. It has oh, oh, zero you, power. It dows is it dousing dagger time? What is no. It? it is time for the initiative. It is white plume adventure. Oh, God. When it enters no. the battlefield, you take the oh. initiative. And I got a response. Each opponent's. Oh, I'm gonna sacrifice Steve. Go <laughs> okay. continue. <laughs> I'm gonna gain a life and enter the dungeon, and that says you get a land, right? Isn't that? I think it's a yeah. Set your library for a basic land, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle and pass. I need that value. So so I'm fiercely looking for his initiative token. Uh -huh. I found, <laughs> I have, I found it. I'm ready, I'm ready to steal <laughs> that initiative. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so I got a mountain. Uh, Let's untap. This is not looking good. Maybe it will look good at some point. I'm going to play Flubs. Lotus Cobra. Ooh, I'm going to get uh, that. When it has landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, add one mana of any color. Let's play a Verdant Catacomb. Trigger uh, thingy. 
I'm going to make one floating green, and then I'm not going to use it because I'm going to pass my turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, <Yay>. enough. <laughs> All right, we're going to untap. How do we get this initiative? Oh man, I want to play my commander. <laughs> Is it just going to get wrapped? It's a little early. I, we, I guess we get toxic deluge. I'm going to play a swamp. Uh, Is my land sure. for the turn? I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to sack this food to the goose for five, and I'm going to play Yagra Eater of All. My commander, five minus six six Ward of Sack of Food, which sounds really bad for you, but it's not quite as bad because it also turns all creatures into food. You can pay two and sack them and gain three life if you want to. And then when food goes to the graveyard, which means a creature, I put two plus one plus one counters on it. Oh my! And you can. It's a pretty hungry tiger. Okay, no, uh, I... You can. You can go. I mean, if he what if he does some kind of asymmetrical wrath, <laughs> then you go one We're shot to one. Yeah. Uh, Sunken Palace, which you've seen. We are going to crack Wayfarer's Bobble. I'm going to get a swamp. Go ahead. Hmm. I'm going to untap. Uh, so do I scry two or put two counters on a creature? I guess I uh, put two counters on the white plume adventurer and keep it aggressive over here. Then draw. The good news is Phil's going to uh, eat this tiger because Seth tries to desperately grab the initiative from him. Num, num, num. How <laughs> big is that tiger? It's a it's six. Value. Six. It's a six. But it doesn't have, it doesn't have an evasion, which is a nice. The no, no line. trample or anything. Tap this for two mana, uh, three mana. I'll add two white and a blue. And then I'm going to pay one blue and a white and play a sand scout when it enters the Ooh. battlefield if an opponent controls more lands than you search your library for a desert card put it onto the battlefield tap then shuffle whenever one or more land are put into your graveyard from anywhere i create a sand warrior i'm gonna get a desert is it an arid archway for the maximum value <sighs> you are you bet. a believer yes i am a very yeah. big believer <laughs> what else would pick you up, play pick up the bounce land <laughs> a crime I land? play the, the crime land yep that's yeah the other you one. get the crime land scavenger grounds scavenger grounds is good. get the uh, scavenger uh, grounds is a good one too so when the arid archway enters the battlefield i pick up a land and i, I will wait for his defense <laughs> i'm gonna crack oh, come verdant catacombs get a triumph you may continue <laughs> Triggered uh, Lotus Cobra, don't, uh, and I have one blue floating. How about that? To scare you a little bit. So I'm going to get a life from the Sand Scout, and then I'm going to replay my spectator seating, tap it for white. Richard is so proud of me. Thanks for Rampant Toma. Here's a white knight of the white oh, orchid. Oh, he, he actually double tapped the bounce. Wait, wait, and <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, Tomer's got another land. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the alley oop. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to get a plank. Double catch up ramp. On the going first. I just played <laughs> one <laughs> Steve. I <laughs> played one <laughs> Steve. This is the dream. Someone's got to at least take the initiative from him. That's you, Seth. I have no creatures. It says the person yeah. with a big 6 6. I have a 2 1, all right? You're just going to. Block it though. Like I can attack him with it, but he'll block it. Give it a shadow counter. You have actually the technology. No. That's yeah, so that's much mana. You, really mana. Could. You, know, you paid more than five mana draw a card in your life. You get to draw a card, yeah. <laughs> this is chump change. I've seen you. What was that? What was a crappy mana rock that was like a preview card one time? It was oh, like yeah. you could pay five, make a clue, uh, and you could pay two. To... It was four for the clue bus. Okay, yes, but it was it was... wasn't like four at like four and tap it. So it's yeah, okay, technically. Yeah, so I guess if you want to be technical. Then... There it is. I'm going to get a hot old fountain and chalk it in. Sorry for that. Whoa. I'm also going to gain a life from the knight entering the battlefield. This flooded strand looking hollowed fountain always throws me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can All attack right, with Phil. this white plume adventure because it will untap. The soul's attendant is going to go at Richard and the white plume is going to go at Tom. No blocks. I'll take, what is it, three? Five. A little, little what? more than that. Whoa. An oh my god. Initiative is kind of busted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> initiative is broken. Don't become an active player when I left. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Afterwards, uh, I'm going to pass the turn and untap the adventure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. This is going. Mm, Let's good. see any action whatsoever. Come. Oh, no. Yo, blast act. No. Oh, God. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to do even better. I'm going to play a Wooded Foothills Trigger Ooh. Lotus Cobra. You have so much mana. Yeah, my my commander to help me discard my hand. <laughs> do I actually want to cast my commander? I'm going to make blue with the Lotus Cobra. Blubs is a weird commander. Oh, wait, how many it, cards you got a, in hand? Four. <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Run it out. Run it out. I think that's, that's not a great, bad. That's a no. great plan. If it's all junk, you know what? We'll pass for a turn. <laughs> Go oh, ahead. I'm gonna untap. Oh, are you are you right. repping Psych Rift over there <laughs> with Lotus? Know. No, we will. I, don't know. I think I might have sequenced this wrong or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna play. Urza's cave. I mean, this is my land for the turn. Be the best. Ooh, nah. So good. Not quite. So Phil has a 5-5, five, five, a soul sister, and two 2-2s. Two you can't, oh, I you can't get I need that initiative. Cat in there. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out if I can attack him. I don't really want to lose my commander to a bunch of <laughs> catch-up Oh, you think he's going to quad though. block? Uh, you know what, Phil? But what if I quad block? Uh, I'm going to come at you <laughs> with, the, with the tiger. 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to block with, yeah, I guess the knife. Sure. Go ahead. A creature died. I'm the creature's a food, so I get two counters on my my tiger. Yo, someone someone just snapped off a Vandal Blast. I wish. You think uh, Seth's not running like a, what's it called? The Bane of Progress? I feel oh, like that's a snap. Of course I'm running have Bane of Progress. Talon Gaze? What is, how many cards oh, do you have? God. How'd you pass with six mana? I have a Urza's Cave. The YouTube comment's going to make fun of me. Let me look at <laughs> my hand real quick. Is there an MDFC hidden in here? I got to double check all my cards. Oh, no. Is this a colorless land? Not only is it a colorless land. But oh, we make yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Only Richard. Only that Richard why can get I color don't play screwed this in a card. two color deck. Only Richard. I'm not color screwed. I don't have five lands. That is it why I does don't not, play that card. It simply does not make any mana. We need Krim here to do his nerd voice, and all the nerds are like, mm, actually, 90% of the time, it's going to be making. It's really good. going to be making no, two mana. Never <laughs> Bitter Thor, this is Adam. Whoa, you're playing basics Whoa, this yeah. week? What is that? Is that because Tomer's here? <laughs> is it because <laughs> Tomer's back? <laughs> 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 so we got a ramp in Demir, okay? There's only so many ways to ramp in Demir. I'm going to pass. Look, I have two lands on tap, guys. Respect the counter spell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm two going lands. to go into Technically the arena, true. which says go target creature. I'm going to go to uh, the, the commander. The it does have a ward of sack of food. Oh. Which would be a creature. Oh. So if you want to, you can, just so you know. How bad though. do you want to? Oh, that ward is <laughs> mm, I guess I'm going to go the Cobra then. Sure. Uh, I'm going to draw Deserted Beach for six mana. I'm going to play the Eternal Wanderer. I'm going to respond Ooh. to that. Yes. I'm going to crack a Wooded Foothills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to get a Surveil Land. You may continue. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to float a blue. Commercial District. ETB, you get the Surveil one. Oh, my God. I have to shuffle physical cards. This Look, so I, I see so many non-basics here. After all this talk and complaining, yeah, and I know. just fetching non-basic after non-basic. I'm going to just put this in the graveyard. <laughs> Either Flex Reservoir. Wait a minute. That's a storm card. <laughs> I promise you there's no combo in the deck. There's no like <laughs> infinite casts or anything. It's just like I needed something to do to gain life. And priority. the Wanderer of Resource? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm going to zero it, create a Samurai token with double strike, gain a life, swing in at Seth with the White Plume Adventurer. I will take five. Then I'm going to pass and untap. On top. Draw. All right, we're going to play Flubs. Uh, Flubs the Fool. It's a 0-5 Frog Scout. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever you play a land or cast a spell, draw a card if you have no cards in hand. Otherwise, discard a card. Let's play a Forest. Uh, that's going to trigger the Lotus Cobra and trigger Flubs the Fool. I'm going to float a green, and then I have to discard a card. It's going to be Anger. Wait, you have to discard oh, a card wow. for playing a land? Oh my god. Yeah, that whatever you play yeah, a land yeah. or <laughs> cast a spell, <laughs> that. Wait, play... I thought it was end Oh, that's even worse what? than I thought. No, no, oh, it's yeah, Song of Creation. I thought, I thought it was end of turn discard. That's not good. <laughs> now we're going to cast another spell. We're going to pay four mana. We're going to cast Splendid Reclamation, oh, triggering Clubs of okay. Pool. Time to discard my Balaged Recovery, which was yet another land. With Splendid Reclamation on the stack, I'm going to cast Return of the Wild Speaker. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures oh. that control. For example, uh. an 8-8 eight, eight Yagra. Uh. It's cool, though. It's it cool. won't end for you well, Phil. I'm kind of balling over here. I think I'm fine with this. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, all right, carry on. All right, well, my, my play is just as good, you see. So Splendid Reclamation resolves, and I get two lands tapped back onto Ooh, the battlefield. You had two lands in there? 
<laughs> yes, it was really you, bad. You get Cobra I'm Man. Well, I'm going to make uh, black and white, and then I will pass. Oh, no, wait, sorry, sorry. I have to attack. I have to attack. I'm goaded, so I'm swinging at you, Richard. I offer the trade. Hit Seth, you just you didn't swing arms. at me. Oh, I just oh, got a goose. Uh, I'll text Seth, send a message. That's fine. I'll take the, I'll take the two. Uh, all right, I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. Oh, do we just do that? You're telling me you're not opening the way for four? I don't believe you. Mm, I'm not playing any land ramp in this deck. No open the way, none of it. It's all mana dorks. Not no, um, Sakura tribe, way. though, right? I don't the even think I have else? Sakura tribe. No what else? Oh, I don't think what? I have any of them. I'm so close to doing cool things, but so far away. Um, <laughs> Is it cool close. things us dying? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> perhaps. He's pulling out the I'm winning next turn. Card. Yeah. One, two, three, do one, I two, win? three. This is just translation from do I win this turn? This is literally just like what Seth used to say before he learned that it's a bad cool thing. Cool things. Cool things. That doesn't necessarily mean winning. <laughs> I'm going to play an overgrown two untapped. I'll take the two. Phil, Phil, Phil. Oh, man. Hmm? People are going to freak. Ah. Uh, Right, you try to see. draw cards off the power again. <laughs> Dude, you just drew a card set. Let He's it go. Let the me... new season. <laughs> I might have drawn into oh, Rishkar's man. expertise. How do I pass that up? But I don't have a reliquary tower. So <laughs> actually, you know, what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna pay two and I'm gonna cast demonic tutor. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. Seth, you, you had to demonic tutor for reliquary tower, slap the reliquary tower down, then cast Rishkar. <laughs> yes. You did yeah. it wrong. I'm gonna try to do what my deck tr is trying to do. All right, all right, I'm gonna tutor that. Oh, I'm gonna shuffle. Uh, here's a I'm gonna try to do my thing. We'll see if it works. <laughs> Three mana. I'm gonna play Warren Soul Trader. That's just a three drop oh, that lets no. me pay a life and sack a creature to make a treasure. Oh, this doesn't go infinite or anything, right? He not, sacks his no, creatures. Well, not yet. It, it grows. It grows his commander, then he makes a treasure. Yes. Uh, Gilded Goose is gonna tap and sacrifice itself because it is a food. Wait, what? To make a mana. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, just a sack of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food but, food does, anything, yeah. But, uh, well, well, yeah. What's going food. on here? I'm going to tap this mana. Then I'm going to sack this Llanowar Elves to make a treasure for a third mana. And I'm going to play a card called Experimental Confectioner. I also get uh, four more counters on my Tiger. So Experimental oh, Confectioner. Oh, infinite. It's a three that's drop infinite, two right? three. That when each yeah. of these you make a food. And when you sack a food, you make a one one black rat creature token. So yes, yeah, right. so if you can't stop that, yeah. it would actually make so infinite it. mana. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I can't or did you actually have something? this. If Seth creates infinite rats with this, I gain it, it, as much life. Right, it's actually the not gets for you. Twice as much counters, though. It doesn't have evasion. That so seems it's like fine. a very risky one to... No, but Seth can't also, make infinite rats. So he I wouldn't make life. infinite rats. I would run out of life. Yeah, the rats and... die. Uh, yeah, yeah, the rats The rats die. would be sacked, yeah. You gotta so I was at uh, Magic Fest Amsterdam recently, and I met these Dutch guys and played around with them. And we talked about this super cool card that you can get if you spend enough money on the thing where you can buy the clothes. And then at some point at the event, they come up to me and give me that card. I hope you and if Ms. The deck turned out great. Anyway, long story short, that card was this. Uh, Swords to Plowshares. Oh, uh, in the coolest ooh, art style ever. Card. I'm going to get rid of this Soul Trader just to make it. Wait, you're not getting rid of his commander? He already played the commander and then the combo is on the battlefield. Okay, Magic. I see. I, see. I see. And yeah. then I think that was going to resolve now. And then I guess Phil's exiling my stuff. So the 12 12 coming your way. Can I Can I just have the initiative, Phil? It's fine. Sure. I'm going to block with this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then you can go, Richard. You have to discard down to hand size, hopefully. Let's help, please. Yeah, tell me yes. I'm going to have to discard a few cards to yes. hand size. I will discard a Feasting Troll King, a Spy Master's Vault, and eh, Insatiable Fugivore. Tomer, I hit you. <laughs> I hit you with this thing. It's a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to block with the Flubs the Fool. It's a 0-5. It bounces off. Am I out of basics already? No way, Richard, <laughs> no, come on. Get out of here. Wait, I was sledded because my land drop for the turn is an island. I drew a land this turn. <laughs> I found like some heart palpitations right there. I was like, oh no. Okay, Temple of False God is on. See, no sweat. There you no go. Sweat. We no made sweat. it. It was like the cast rampant growth last turn, right? I can't believe you did the podcast without me, by the way. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah.
I had to the I, I, I stop halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you need basics for that too. You have to be running a lot. Maybe he just wants the mace on the back side. Yeah, <laughs> I just, I just want the maze. I am so scared of this tiger. <laughs> Can I play my commander? It's just gonna die. If it makes you Is feel better, it's just gonna Richard, die. You're pretty far down the, the tiger's hit list at the moment. I think I'm gonna pass. <laughs> yeah, but tigers are unpredictable. You never know. <laughs> that is also that is also true. <laughs> that is also you that never know. <laughs> you never want to be on Team Tiger because the tiger might just rip off your face. I thought, you know? I thought we like, just say frosted flakes. This tiger is not the same one. <laughs> I grew up with. <laughs> I'm going to go into the archives and do our cards, and then I'm going to do our card for turn, and then I'm going to play a... I mean, Phil's got a wrath sitting on board, Rainy literally. Uh, yeah, oh, the Eternal I mean, One Rock. Kind of rough. I don't think I will, though. I'm going to <laughs> give it one more turn. <laughs> to get greedy and wanna... die, too. <laughs> what? I'm going to play a Welcoming Vampire. Whenever one or more yeah. creatures with power two or less enter, so I draw power. cards only once each turn. I'm going to plus the one. All right. Welcoming food, you mean. Uh, <laughs> food, yeah. I'm going to plus the wanderer and flicker the sand scout. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. And Toma has more. Wow. Uh, yeah, I have five. So six, good. Seven, eight. I have eight. Comes back at end step. Swing in at Seth. Because now he wants to kill me anyway, so uh, let's, uh, let's just try to kill more. each other. All right. Oh my god, there's yeah. a 49. 28. Souls attended. Okay, so end of turn. This one enters. I draw cards and is it, is I gain a life. Desert? I could get the crime desert, but I think I'm actually going to get uh, the one in case there's a wrath. I'm going to get the laser tap quarry. I can eternalize stuff with it and pass and untap. He's going to dungeon next turn, right? He's going to get thrown of the dead. Whatever oh yeah! Day. Someone can steal true. the initiative. <laughs> I've been trying <laughs> for three years. You literally can. You literally can. We pass. Well, pass. <laughs> Wait, did so, we, Tomer's hundred okay. percent playing okay. a combo deck. He has like five yeah, combo pieces. I, I don't have. I don't have. He can't do no it. Yeah. There is no combo in the deck. I was the full yeah, picking this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is how Flubs plays. The last mode of that dungeon is the one that's like a little. You draw cards and omniscience, kind of. Yeah, we oh, just a creature. Okay, okay, that's, so that's you a basically creature from among them. Get one the creature from the top ten with plus three plus. Yeah, with hexproof and stuff. We win this turn. I'm going to play Thespian Stage as my land for the turn. Oh, I don't know how to stop Phil. I don't know how to do it. Um, I'm not even doing what? anything. <laughs> you have a full grip set? What do you think my hand's full of? It might <laughs> be more card land. draw spells. It don't might be more land. card draw. If we take the initiative from Phil and he takes it back, he resumes his place in the dungeon? or is Yeah, it yeah he does. Oh, the damage is done. I will uh, die soon, I think. Yeah, that seems... You should have right, just I'm gonna this is your Emperor end. last turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of that was greedy. Wait, wasn't that cool, though? It was kind of... It was, no! It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was it, it, was, it was cool. I thought it was cool, Phil. You should have killed Jaeger back when he was going to draw eight. I only play one removal spell in this deck. I'm going to make it count. <laughs> oh, my God. It, it counted. Have you chose it Swords to the Plowshares? That has to be counted. No one else would right. you, all were, you all were leaning hard on Krim last season, weren't you? <laughs> I'm going to go to combat, <laughs> and I'm going to attack the Planeswalker. Ooh la la. I, yeah, I think the Sand Scout has the, done its job, done its although thing. it would create a Sand Scout if well, I... Well, you could bounce it <laughs> next turn, Phil, and you could ramp another gland. I think I'm going to block with the White Plume. That seems a little greedy, but I... Okay. That I works. play patches. So the, my tiger is going to grow again. Uh, how many cards you got in hand, Phil? Five. five. Oh, five. That's a big number. Five uh, mana drains. Don't even bother trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Phil plays zero counter spells, guaranteed. If you can't be bothered <laughs> with like a wrath, there's like no way. <laughs> yeah, he's done zero interaction so far. Oh, wait, no, he does. I am the five. only one interacting. He literally is. I know. He I is the one that stopped me. I'm just going to. all the wrong I'm just, cards. Oh, no. I'm just going to play Academy Manufacturer. Uh -oh. How about that? Uh, uh, so that's very bad. It does say token, so not any creature will trigger. I still need to literally make a food token. But if I do make a food token, if you make a creature, if token, I make a creature it token, trigger. it'll be a food and trigger. Yeah, I just gained life though. Okay, so if this resolves. I'll just pass the turn. Actually, well, on board. I meant to tap turn. my mana this way. I'm gonna yeah. tap my mana like this. Uh, thematic compass. <laughs> <laughs> <Good search for laughs> we need to up the blue count here. Richard is ready for the Tomer meta. Well, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm the the compass. I'm actually quite worried of running out because I play two basics naturally. <laughs> Should have mulliganed. Oh, it goes to my hand. It goes to my hand. Sorry. Untap. 
Oh, wait, I still got Bitter Thorn Animus to ramp? Oh, no. Uh, Tomer is the only one with Dorn. I mean, you, you can actually trade with this if you want this time. Bitter Thorn Animus. I attack wait. you. I'm going to ramp a land. How many basics are you playing, going Richard? To be. How many, Richard, how many Richard basics Richard is are you ramping playing out in basics. this deck? So Ten. I will not I will not <laughs> offer the trade. I, I applaud you, Richard, for what you're doing over here. I will just chump with my... Actually, I think I want to swap. I want to swap. Look at that. I even have choices of basics. Wow. Except. I'm playing Burnished Heart. We need the basics. Oh, wow. I play my island. So four colorless floating and a single blue. I'm going to use three of it. Wait, if I compass, it's going to be tapped, right? Yes. Oh, okay, maybe we don't do that. I'm going to play... Confounding conundrum. Oh, yeah, a little late. When it ETBs, now. Oh. draw a card. Yeah, when I'm the land enters the battlefield under their opponent's control, if they had another land enter under their control this turn, return that land to their hand. And my yep. response is a fairy mastermind. Whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, you draw a card. I will respond to the fairy mastermind. I'm going to just sacrifice these two lands. And I'm going to get a surveil land, I hope, <laughs> and then a basic, I think. I'm going to draw. See. For conundrum. I'm going to draw. Sequency. Ah, thundering Falls. Oh, That's the I'm also going to draw the upcoming vampire. I'm going to go to end step. Spires over rat, or what is this? The Mana Compass transforms the spires because I have seven or more lands. It is now a maze of this that taps for mana. So on Richard's end step, I am going to surveil. Pay two mana, oh. and I'm going to sacrifice this food token to gain three life. And since I sacked a food, I will get counters on my tiger, and I'll trigger this experimental confectioner that says when you sack a food, make a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token. So that rat will actually be a food because of Yagra. Uh, and since it's a food, Academy Manufacturer will see it, and I'll make a clue and a treasure. So I'll get a clue and a food and a treasure token. But I get no actual rats out of this. They're all just normal tokens. And then I will use my treasure and my overgrown tomb to cast assassin's trophy on the eternal wonder i can't have your wrath yeah. on my board phil you got i can't have your wrath on my board you got i got greedy <laughs> what am i supposed to let him draw every yeah. single thing he wanted you get a land you yeah. get a land out of it i'm helping wow. I'm, i ramped you yeah no you uh, turned off his night uh, of the white orchid <laughs> shenanigans now now it's all over i'll get a planes you didn't fetch this turn, right? Confounding conundrum, right? Okay, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a sand ball right <laughs> Doesn't confounding conundrum kind of turn all your opponent's lands into the bounce lands, Richard? When you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they can't ramp anymore. But wait, wait. That's um, true. You're right. I'm, I'm not high draw. on this card, but I'm oh, going to try it anyway. Before I draw. Yeah. Oh, it second. seems like if you have it on turn two, it can be really good. So That's I'm going to go to the throne. Of the dead tree. Reveal the top 10 cards of your library. Put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield with the three plus one plus one counters on it. It gains hexproof until your next turn, then shuffle. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. There's some good stuff in here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, full okay. card. Six, a oh, it's a, seven. That's a counter spell. Eight, counter spell. Nine. Ten. Yeah, it's uh, the Amsterdam promo card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, solitude. Uh, you have a solitude. This is solitude, got all Esper removal. Sentinel, and a nesting Darfog. Yeah. I guess I take the solitude, right? It gets rid of the So back. boring. So this solitude has three counters and hexproof until the end of turn. I gain a life. Is it the confectioner or is it the manufacturer? <sighs> the confectioner seems like something that just goes infinite super easily with the commander, but uh, the manufacturer goes go super infinite with anything. So Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you're, you're, we're playing a dangerous game with this one-shotting tiger. Over uh, you're yeah. killing yeah. my yeah. combo yeah. pieces like crazy. I will gain oh, a so life. Your combo deck, Seth. <laughs> well, my deck might okay. have combos in it. That was my <laughs> upkeep. Combo that's... Deck. Let's draw. No one's stolen the initiative from him. No one has any of it. Well, you had the shadow thingy. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had the mana. You to could, do if it. you want. I'm going to pay two mana. And I thought I'd have to pay a lot of money for this version, but apparently this one's pretty cheap. And it's Ooh. an old border foil arcane signet. Wait, isn't that Looks pretty cool? Oh. Best super cheap. Like nice. Um, uh, commander time. Zina, Zinia <laughs> Valley's voice. It gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of other creatures you control with base power one. And creature spells you cast have offspring too. And it's a stalk. So, haha. Uh, so first of all, I gain a life and draw a card with the welcoming vampire. Let's do this. One, two, three, and offspring two. 
I'm going to cast a witty roast master with offspring. Oh, oh um, that's a that's oh. black. Please don't kill it. So another creature ETBs under. Okay, so there's each two take a damage. roast masters. First, I should probably read mm. offspring because it's a new mechanic. You may pay an additional two as you cast a creature spell. If you do, when that creature enters, create a one-one token copy of it. So this enters. There is only one trigger, and that's one life. And then. This enters, that's the sun, <laughs> and it uh, it triggers the Witty Roast Masters and the Souls Attendant. So Souls Attendant gains me one life, and then whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Witty Roast Master deals one damage to each opponent. So everybody takes one. Poor editor. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh God. I'm going to swing four at Seth because he wants to kill me first. <laughs> and uh, then I'm going to pass... 2027. Okay. Seth, we're cool. <laughs> yes, okay. uh, yes, we're very, we're very cool. I, I, I mean, was if you start this... storm comboing or something, that's no. different. But I was oh, keeping God. this to deal with your commander. I drew it just last turn. We might need my commander to live. Uh, uh, yeah, nice. so that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna be like, you know, when it's like the Godzilla movie and there's like the, they're fighting, and then the the guy yeah. just says like, "Let them fight." That's like where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna pay three yeah. mana, and I'm gonna have a maximum value chaos warp. I'm gonna target oh. the confounding Ooh, conundrum. This oh. will trigger flood wow. the pool. So I had to discard my burgeoning, which is what I want eh. to keep in my starting hand, <laughs> uh, but I did yeah. not have. Um, so wow, I just Wow, we use the chaos warp on this. Okay. Yes, but minute, now minute, it's getting minute, better. Minute. But you, you could even get in. the confounding conundrum, and then I draw a card. I don't think I have By that the way, in my deck. By the way, I cut oh, I chaos I warp, but then I added it because I'm like, <laughs> you know what? It's funny. I might. All right, here we go, boys. Let's see what Let's it see is. Right. Let's see it. Show me. Ooh, it's it's a surveil land. land. Wait, does that you go. Work? Yeah, you get it. Well, that works. Yeah, you get oh, it. You get it. Oh, you get it. Hey. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'll take that, actually. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was Girl Spiral. Two mana, draw a card, <laughs> and then get a land. <laughs> but now you see, uh, anything I draw, I can actually draw, not discard, with flubs. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tomer's yes. done the thing. You got empty-handed now. Flubs is Flubs <laughs> is on. He's ready to do some fooling. I think we keep him on top. Awesome. All right, watch and learn, friends. The best card is on top of my library right now. I mean, uh, everything grows you can't. I will play a land. <laughs> I will generate a uh, a blue with Lotus Cobra, and I will trigger Flubs. Okay, wait, wait, wait one card. second. So every time, every time you play a land or cast a spell, you just draw a card. If it's a third land, I stop. <laughs> But if it's a spell, he can cast it and then keep draw uh, draw another card. Yeah, he's casting right. He can storm. Yeah, right. basically, yeah. Eight cards off one spell. All right. So I brick. <laughs> Whoa, when I draw, notion. Hit my oh, we're gonna notion the here. Disgusting. Oh. I mean, I still draw. Oh. I still, oh. No, I don't. Oh, oh. oh. Well, no, I just right. have him in this. Well, spell. we gotta. Oh. I think we all got to kill Richard now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else is going on in this game, but Richard's yeah, going to die because he's got no This is why, this is why <laughs> I, I had to do the Krim thing, and this is terrible. I don't know how he does it every week. Uh, uh, I'm going to draw. And I don't. I'm going to gain a life. Okay, well, I'm empty-handed. I pass. <laughs> Oh, oh God! God no. All right. Uh, I don't un yeah. <laughs> tap We're about to kill my Bill Plant. He untaps and wins, right? Maybe. Not really. Uh, Maybe this land sucks. It's so much mana. Which land? Five mana. The shadow. Yeah, counter, it's, it's five it's mana to put a shadow counter on it. Right now, my commander is eighteen power, but that means I need two more foods to be sacked to get it big enough to kill someone. And I don't think I can do it and give it unblockable. I need someone to die this turn. I need Richard to die. I need Phil to die. <laughs> no. Tomer, you can live. You're, you can be like the court jester. <laughs> the minute you kill this cool. notion thief, Tomer's just going to combo and kill us. <laughs> but what remember combo? What, remember what, what I mentioned, I Richard? Remember what, what I mentioned several that? turns ago? I kind of want to draw 18 this turn. I was, I was saving us from dying. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather be dead than <laughs> not able to cast my Rich Car's expertise. Just use your swords uh, to plowshare, Seth. I'm going to play Vesuva. People would all be dead if I didn't have the swords. The Vesuva will copy, I guess, the Maze of Ith land. I'm going to go to combat and swing I mean, you can at swing at Richard. Richard. Force him to block. So I can yeah. I have the maze. <laughs> I have the maze. You got a combat trick? Oh, yeah, right. It does have ward of sack a creature, so you'd have to sack something. Or sack of food, which is a creature. I just want the Notion Thief dead, and then, then we're good at Then I can go back to trying to kill Phil. <laughs> <with> the Notion <laughs> Thief got I go. sacked the Notion Thief. 
Yeah, then the tiger's happy with you again. God, this was the t- most, t- this was like source the plowshares. This was so bad. <laughs> this was stopped over one turn. Seth's going to draw yep. 6,000 cards. I, yep. I, oh, no. I so if I sack it right now, he's going to draw 6,000 cards. All right. Germ down. Yeah. So this is going to get two counters. I will spend two mana and cast heroic intervention. Permanence you control oh, mean hexproof no. and indestructible until end of turn. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's In a response cool thing to the to maze see. activation. Just no response. <laughs> F6. No hands card. Okay. I go to blocks. <laughs> yeah, we did oh. it. All right. Yeah. Oh, no we were sweating down. there. You're good. You're we good. Were sweating. <laughs> we You're were sweating. sweating. That's how much Seth doesn't and then, like Notion Thief. No, I hate Notion Thief. Now Phil's probably going to win. But Spent a combat my and heroic intervention. <laughs> And then you can go, I guess. I don't have the mana to really do anything else, so go ahead. A I'm little worried Phil's going to win, but I had to get rid of that notion. Thief. I mean, the deck is better at getting fun. value than winning, I'd say. <laughs> We're going to try the thing. Oh, is it rat time? Richard's it's just been waiting, waiting for the window. Red the Relentless. That's my commander. Uh-huh. Uh, three, four, ward two. If a creature <laughs> in a planet controls would die, exile it. At the beginning of each end step, create X, one, one rat tokens with this creature gets plus one, plus one for each other rat you control where X is the number of creatures your opponent's controlled that were exiled this turn. Oh yeah, that shuts down a lot of the loops. I oh yeah, that's I... very good against me. So, uh, seven mana, kindred dominance. Ah, dear, rough. No. Choose a creature <laughs> okay. type, destroy all creatures that aren't of the chosen type. Uh, I'll float a red, I'll tap a mountain. Okay, I pass. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend wait, three wait, wait, mana. Wait, Seth, he debated you. <laughs> Does he have the interaction? He's waiting Seth to use it. <laughs> no, Tomer's got no cards anyway. I might be empty handed. Uh, <laughs> oh, you have no cards. <laughs> I'm just gonna cast Mithril Co. So the flash like equipment it. when it enters, you can put on a legend you control and equip creature as indestructible, and it's indestructible. So I'm gonna try okay, to put so that on my tiger. I'm gonna respond to that. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you tried to do some nasty things to me last time. Turn. You played uh, Notion we're gonna, Thief. We're going to pack the negation. Wow. wow. Counter target right. spell at the beginning of my next upkeep, pay five. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, I, works. I don't have anything here. Yeah. All right. Uh, so count the creatures heck- that are dying. So you don't get it for the commander, right? Or no? Because it goes to the command zone. You, you do. do. It goes yeah. to the exile. Yeah. The commanders will go to the exile zone and then go to the command zone. So you get so now all the about triggers. to win. <laughs> so that's two, eight for me. Two creatures. Two for me. We need to wrath this turn or the game ends. Uh, I'm empty handed. Oh, should have killed Richard. <laughs> so I got 12. We got 12 rats. And they're all growing based on each other. They're all, they're all, like oh, they're all 13, huge. 13 rats. Yeah. Flow under the radar. <laughs> Play the commander wrath. Polluted Delta. State. Play the maze of it. Oh, yeah. Pass the turn. Okay, so in my upkeep, I'm going to go back into the secret <laughs> we entrance. We still haven't successfully taken the dish. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get my last basic. Maybe I, I think I play four. This one was also kindly given to me and Magic on Amsterdam. Are, are we That's hashtag the, sponsored by Magic? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm hashtag on Amsterdam. sponsored by, by Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I draw a raff. How many cards do you have, Phil? Seven. Eight now. Oh, no, oh, that's so many cards. But Phil doesn't play interaction. That's what we get a bank. Uh, <laughs> I, I, he was gloating. But no, he's, he played the most interaction so far. So that far, I played the most true. interaction. Okay, I just try to get enough blockers here. I think that's yeah, where wait, we are. What? Um, <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? You're going to block your What the heck is this? <laughs> okay. All right, like this. Oh, the, the fast land math. Okay. This is One, two, three, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play a Peregrine Drake when it comes oh, into yeah. play, untap five lands. Heck yeah. Uh, it's a blocker. That's one. This is so just guys wait, wait, we're doing this the hard way? That's how you're not we're going to We're going very <laughs> raw with it. Yeah, yeah. For three mana, I'm going to play a Imperial Recruiter. When it enters the yeah. battlefield, search your library for a creature card with power two or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Get the white tutor. Build a Kiki player. Get then the, the white Kiki, tutor. Let's go. Get another one. <laughs> Yo, if he, no. gets, if he gets Kiki, you can copy the Paragon Drake, untap, play Zalt's, Zalt's Construct. Yeah, no, it. none of this is in here. <laughs> I do have might- Maybe. Tomer Let's, knows all the games. I, I like no. how Tomer knows all the games. Tomer knows all the games. Allegedly, I've lines. never played it. <laughs> I've never played it in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to get an illustrious wonder glyph. Which is like a tight sprout, so whatever. The thing that's, that's a lot of stuff on the map. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay five mana 
and cast it. Get the city's blessing. Six blockers. Uh, other artifact creatures Same. you control get plus two, plus two, as long as you have your city's blessing. And that means I have 10 permanents. I do. At the beginning of each upcate, up create a 1-1 one, one colorless gnome token. And because I am scared, I will play a land and pay two mana flash duplicate you may have flash duplicate enter the battlefield as a copy oh, of any creature on the glyph. battlefield except it has <laughs> vanishing three Whoa. so this one is a copy okay now he has enough three. to live that's like enough that. yeah that's well, good that enough to uh, survives three turns i mean that's enough though i mean that's game. just gonna do, uh, uh, wrath though i don't know about this and yeah. wrath, you're man. not gonna wrap i wish right? okay i mean i if i drew a wrath i'd have to for four mana i'm gonna cast fairy artist just in case somebody wanted to do some fancy Stuff. You and, have cards uh, in hand? Did you just play your whole hand? Uh, no, I have three cards left in hand. One of them oh, must be nice. might be the I mean, Tomer can flubs combo right here, right? What? Oh, that <laughs> would take a miracle of miracles. Yeah, if he flubs into Kiki, yeah. No, no, I have to, I'm I'm going like, to, Kiki, I have to like Jessica's will into Kiki, into Zealous, into Mana Geyser or something, and then I win. In your upkeep, I'm going to create this wonderful gnome token. Two of them. And actually, them, right? I'm going to create two of them. Somehow fills the problem. Sweet. Like, how do I kill him? Give <laughs> yeah. me a cover of darkness. <laughs> yeah, this is better than a board wipe, I think. If you swing at him, he has to chump a lot. So you'll eat through but his he board. He gets six right. free tokens every turn. You can't just kill the rest. Seth, yeah. can, you, yes. can you do me a solid? Can you just tell me if you're going to wrath? I don't have a wrath. If I top deck one, I'm okay. 100% casting it, but I do not have a wrath in hand. But. <laughs> All right. It's well, Flubs time, baby. It's Flubs time, baby. <laughs> Let's, go. Flubs. Let's, Let's go, Flubs. It's time. Let's go. All right. I and mean, if you get a through the breach or something. All right. Now now we storm off, by the way. Pay oh, two right. Mana. All right. I got the Flubs. win. Flubs for the win. Yeah, wa watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to cast My the reality chip. Uh, the oh, reality ooh. chip does nothing while it's uh, on the battlefield. It's a 0-4 equipment jellyfish. That's really fun. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. As long as it's attached to a creature, you may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library as reconfigure three, which is one more mana than I actually have. So I can't even equip it, but I'm going to trigger off Flubs because I have no cards in hand. I get to draw a card. Ooh, wow. Is that okay? Flubs in a... I draw a Notion card. Thief. Notion yeah. Thief. Yeah, no Come on, Richard. Get him. <laughs> Dark <laughs> ritual Notion Thief. My Notion Thief is right here. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. This is one <laughs> triggers. I draw a yep. card off Flubs for the first time. It happened. Game. All right. No, what is oh, it? Oh, my God. I it's pure gas, right? Yeah. Whoa. 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 Do it again. Do it, do it again. Do it again. I draw a card. We <laughs> Keep it going. going. Keep it oh going. My. Keep blum, it blum, going. Blum, 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 blum. <laughs> Let's play a land. It's a misty rain. Trigger flow. Okay, land number two. Do it again. Whoa. Uh, okay, now it's a whiff. But <laughs> <laughs> the fight is over. Wait, is it a wrap? No, 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 no. This is actually good. This is actually good. This is actually good. I mean, we're gonna die, so I'm just gonna play the card. But, oh wait, I can look at the top card of my library at any time. Oh. <laughs> uh no, we're just gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna crack the misty. Lose a life. We're going to get a basic. It's going to be an island because I have really nice foil innovation islands. And like they're one of my favorite ones. Uh, this is a German one. It's an incel. Uh, I know. Incel. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I don't know why people were laughing, but this is what it says. Um, I'm going to just put it onto the battlefield. And then, let me look at the top card. Okay, I still can't play it. This is the point of the deck for four mana and teamer. I'm going to play Song of Creation. Oh, Ooh. there it is. You may play an additional. That was the whole point of the deck. I was like, oh. You, you guys still game. laughing at me for, for stopping the flubs? <laughs> <laughs> if Tom was a lap now, he could, he could win. If he got taps now, we're cooked for sure. Uh, yeah. trigger, trigger, uh, trigger flubs. Uh, I draw card um okay and then i'm done we, we forgot a key interaction here so ren triggers on every end step and phil is continually making tokens that will get exiled so at every end step i get a rat i have the lustrous <laughs> wander glyph now and step trigger <laughs> i have to discard my hand it is three visits into the graveyard i am empty-handed once more <laughs> All right, I will untap and draw. So is Fairy Artisan when a creature enters a battlefield or cast? It's non-token creature enters. Right, Seth, 11, if you, if you chain off creatures, I will kill Phil and Tover first. That's what I was going to see if I can <laughs> take enough creatures no, 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 and I can no, no, get no. Richard to kill Phil. I'm going to play another new card. Camella the Seed Miser. Uh, it's a menace squirrel that when I sack a food, I get a 1-1 one, one squirrel, and then I pay two to forge, but counters on my squirrels. None of that actually matters. Uh, most importantly, so that's going to do Fairy copy. Artisan things. I get that it. exiles yeah. a creature, so red, yes. red count at one. I am going to cast Victimize. 
So I can oh. sack a creature to put two creatures from my graveyard into play. So I'm going to sack this Camella, which will go to exile because of the Vren. Okay. Uh, Vren so that's two. a creature going to exile. And then I will get back Insatiable Fugivore and a Feasting Troll King. Sweet. Oh, uh, so then, But the answer wait, is tapped, is, by the way, just so you know. Right? Yeah, the yeah, you get uh, copies fine. of those, so I get... Two yeah. more Vren exile count. And then when uh, this Insatiable Fugobor enters, I can create a food token. And then yeah. I can exile three cards from my graveyard to create another food token, which I will do. So I'm going to uh, Wait, make so a food. I get the same trigger. One, two, and three to make a second food. It's basically forage, but it doesn't actually say forage on it. Okay, so apparently the way Fugivore works, uh, it says repeat the process so you can apparently do it as many times as you want to. So I'm going to exile three more mm -hmm. cards and make a third food token and then I'm going to exile my last three cards to make a fourth food token. And these are going to be tapped. My only land is the Maze of Myth. I think that should be four rats coming. We got four you can, rat you can go. Four trigger. Okay, Um, if you guys don't have interaction, this is very bad news for you because I'm holding a fluted delta and you know what Richard plays. <laughs> oh, hey. But no, but I don't have enough islands. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Wanted by his own petard of colorless lands. <laughs> Two. No, I have three islands. I have three no. islands. I have the surveil land. Okay, three <laughs> islands. So we're going to pollute a delta. It's we Mystic Sanctuary that Richard plays with three islands. I go to wow. 37 <laughs> from the fetch. Mystic Sanctuary. Wow. ETB's tapped unless I have three more other islands. Kindred Dominance is coming back. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's definitely game, yeah. Okay, and I then I'm going to get I... four rat triggers. Uh, so I go to five rats over here. Mm. We're going to untap and we're going to pay for Pact. I'm going to get some gnomes, although they are not rats. <laughs> five. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana here conveniently. So I'm going to draw the card. <laughs> Apparently, you can't die to pack it anymore if you forget. You can like, unwind it and do game. it. Yeah, that's wild that they changed that. Okay, so my rats are 1818s. Oh, God. So you guys should be more than dead unless you start fogging. Uh, so Kindred uh, Dominance, yeah. I choose rats. Hilariously, I have a rat berserker. So, haha. -ha. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, 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 we're going to stick rat. around. Over here. Uh, <laughs> count the creatures in case this becomes relevant. Two. I don't one. think this becomes relevant. No, this is definitely. Uh, the co tokens count as well, huh? So that's yes. 12. <laughs> okay. Does Seth believe in snag? I said <laughs> four snag at Seth. Yeah. And then I send three at Tomer. Yeah. And the rest at Phil. I mean, I can't complain. This was. Uh, and then Phil. Cool. Yeah. I mean, Phil yeah, can pop take up. six, right? Six yeah. times, whatever. And then I, I add one more each and I throw one at someone. I mean, yeah, I can maze one of them, but that's, yeah. that doesn't matter. Yeah, you definitely got it. Wow. wow. Yeah. Man, Ooh, it. you guys Rin had no rats. Scary. Rin, yeah. <laughs> I did, but there's I no crim. <laughs> I run rats. It just wasn't drawing any cards. Like the 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 start was so slow. So yeah, Tomer, I'm curious because Flubs was one of the commanders that uh, stuck out most to me during preview season. And when I first saw it, I was like, this seems like a really janky commander. And then today's game. Didn't actually really change my opinion of it too much. I'm curious though, like, do you view Flubs as like a super janky, hard to build around commander, or is it like sneakily powerful and it's just hard to see its power? I think you definitely have to work for it, but it is a really powerful commander. Like you saw the the signature card. This is basically a song of creation deck, and Flubs is just secretly a songs of creation commander. But you have to be empty handed first. So I think. It's a small sample size, so everybody who's watching this game was going to be like, oh, man, Flub sucks, blah, 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 blah. But if we had, like, a game two and I had, like, a decent starting hand, the idea is to run... I have every single card that basically says you can play an additional land this turn. So all of those things are basically what you want to see in your early hand. And I also run most of my... Almost half of my deck is lands because they're MDFCs. I run, like, eight of them, and the rest are just, like, other sorts of lands. So I'm just supposed to dump my entire hand very, very quickly... Um, and then play Flubs as soon as possible, and then start just chaining spells and playing additional lands, Crucible of Worlds, so I can start playing fetches additional times from my graveyard. And uh, you saw the Aetherflux Reservoir. It's not a combo or anything, but it is kind of stormy. Um, and then I have landfall payoffs too. So I think the deck is actually quite strong. It's just I'm to six, 
and I couldn't find any of the fast starts, and then I just drew a bunch of lands, and then I was just too far behind. Yeah. It happens, you know? That can happen with, with any commander, and it did seem like once you finally got to the point of getting empty-handed, like, you're getting yeah. close to where it was going to start doing a really cool thing, so you could see how it could be powerful in certain situations, but anyway, if you ever want to see the deck lists, uh, they're in the description. People sometimes miss that, so if you want to see Tomer's flop list or my Yager list or any of the lists we played today, definitely make sure to check those out. So I believe that brings us to the end of our first blue. Bloomborough Commander Clash, but there's so many cool commanders in the set. Doing another one next week, so come back to see more yeah. cool Bloomborough Commanders next Friday. So until then, everyone, have an amazing week, and this is the crew signing out.